Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. This episode isn't a, a part of my Let's Play. This is actually more of a walkthrough on some things I wish I had known sooner. So the, um, between this episode and the previous episode, I spent about three hours farming materials. And as you can see, um, upgrading some of my weapons here. Now, as I was doing this, I learned quite a bit. Where we are in the story of the game is we're actually, we beat the first three dungeons. So spring, summer, fall, and then we did winter up to uh, finding Mandy in the mists. And then we get, we get sent back to the hamlet after that's done. So we basically complete the first round of stories through all the seasons. Now, what I want to go through first is... How this all works for leveling up your items. So, as you know, day to day you have these quest boards. And as you level up the middle one, the, the hammer, as you can see I've maxed it out for this area. It'll unlock upgrades uh, to your, your weapons. And I don't know if I have any upgrades here. I might have the hammer left to finish, but you'll just go to your tool shop. And this is also true for your water containers, your dew containers. Um, and oftentimes those dew containers can either be found in your dew area, like this one here, is the jar maintenance. And it, these upgrades only follow the tools you get in those areas. So like for Spring Hamlet, it's only for your pick and only for your hammer. So we do have the next hammer upgrade, which is 15 driftwood and 150 leaflets. So um, those will unlock, and then as you pick up your upgrade, it'll unlock the new one pending your high enough level to have it unlocked. So with that, you're going to have to find items, because each, each upgrade requires a bunch of different items. And sometimes a lot of them, like you saw, that was 15 driftwood. And driftwood is really hard to come by. I'll talk about it in a second. So here is nearly every item in the game. We're going to find out here um, when I go through the farming stuff. But this is every item in the game. And for some of these, like the bioluminescent pod, I couldn't find anything even on the wiki of this existing right now. So I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that, find that, and the porcelain shell. Um, so we're going to start here. You probably know some of the more basic ones. So this top row is Spring Hamlet, right? You have the sap, the glass, which you can get on any beach. The sap is gotten from any tree trunk that has like overgrown moss on it. And I believe, actually I'm positive, that the leafy dew if you use it next to a stump, it'll turn it into a mossy stump that you can get sap from. The glass lens, which you need for upgrading your pick, I believe at the third level. Eight of them, and this is actually a rarer drop from glass shards. So anywhere you find those empty glass bottles on beaches, um, the south of Spring Hamlet, all over in uh, the summer bar, and even a few spots in, in winter and autumn if you when you get there the flowstone and the water sprout are fished up using your dousing rod in spring hamlet so that covers these five here next we go into summer bar we have the sandstone and the succulents and these are forageable items throughout summer bar the azure shell yellow shell and the crimson shell are all fished up at the summer bar and these are kind of placed in rarity the Azure shell is the most common, yellow shell is lesser common, but still not hard to come by, and the crimson shell is kind of a pain. It's like the rare drop. The last piece is the driftwood from Summer Bar, and this one can only be obtained in the waterlogged dungeon. Um, I, I've been into it a couple of times since I've beaten it, and I've only found it in one location so far on the floors and I've only had like two drop from it at a time so you have to go back in there. 
I do remember there being a room at the very end after the boss where there's a couple more uh, chunks of driftwood that you can farm up, but you have to beat the boss and get back down there, and I'm too lazy to do that right now. So that's Summer Bar. Next, we have the Autumn Village, and the two forageable items that you'll find around Autumn Village are the Pith Root and the Cornerstone. Now, the Cornerstone can only be obtained if you have the Sickle. It's the only way to um, pick them up. And these two here, the Rusty Screw and the Rot Bobble, are both obtained in the Sewer Dungeon. Um, the Rusty Screws, you'll find them in boxes. You'll actually get quests to go in and pick up Rusty Screws out of the sewer. And the Rot Bobbles are dropped off of the mobs in there. So that's it. I actually don't remember there being any fishable locations in um, Autumn Town. I don't want to spoil any of the story for you, but it makes sense that there's no fishing in there. So last we have Winter Glade. Now, Winter Glade, the two forageable items are Tombstone and Fatwood. Tombstone is so hard to come by. I think there's only one forageable spot for it in Winter Glade. You have to go into the mists to find more of it if you need it in a single day. But you are uh, pretty much at RNG level of trying to find this because I've been into the mists multiple times and kicked back out and haven't found a single tombstone. And sometimes I go in and I find it a couple of times, but more often than not, I don't. So um, wish the RNG gods luck as you go in there. That wood is easy to come by. It's in the first area of... Winter Glade, you can actually, it's it's in these like trunks, like these dead trunks, and you'll see like this amber material in it, and that's the fatwood. And then the moon kelp is actually fished up. This is the item that you fish up with the dousing rod in Winter Glade. Now, these last four that I have here, I might be adding to this the dubell, the bioluminescent pod. The cobble piece and the porcelain shell are all obtained through farming. Now farming, you don't unlock until after you complete the dungeon in Autumn Village, so the, the sewer. Now, what I've learned trying to upgrade my weapons is that when you get the seeds, and you see there's four of them, okay? You can buy one from the trader at each at each season town in um after after you beat the the sewer dungeon so uh, the cobble moss is the seed that you get in autumn the cuckooing nut is the one you get in spring the chickpea is what you get in summer and the jelly bean is what you get in the uh, winter glade so all you have to do is buy these seeds once after that where your seed was sold where the seed was sold in the trader, you'll see a seed bag from then on. And with the seed bag, it just refills your seed pouch. And then you can pick which of the four to use when you plant your seed. Now, what I figured out is, as you can see here at the bottom, cobble moss plus spring hamlet, and it's blank. And if you see over here, this top spot, this is where I planted. This is the cobble moss that I planted in spring. And... Concord's discovering new kinds of flora. I had a feeling this was going to be new. Okay, so it's just chunk. It's just rock. So that really... No, that's not any anything super new. As you can see here, the kukui nut gives you... Um, this, I believe, is the dewbell, which I've already shown you. The chickpea is actually right here, and this is the porcelain shell. Now, the last one, and most interesting for me, is the jelly bean. So the jelly bean in spring gives you just extra coin. It's called the tiny morning dew. And that's all it, it really gives me. So now we're actually going to go up to autumn because I've planted some stuff up there. Yeah, so here's the kukui nut planted in spring, and it is the dewbell.
we're gonna make our way up to the little farm in here. I wish there was a little farm like this in all the towns, but there's not. You just kind of have to figure out where your farming spots are. So here we go. If you've completed this story in Autumn Town, you'll recognize these. This is the, the moss seed that you get in Autumn Town. It's the first seed you get, and you actually need these um, cobblestone pieces to, to, to complete Autumn Town to get back to um, Springblade. So we have the cuckoo nut down here, the chickpea, and the... This looks like a pith root now. No, it's just lumber. Okay. So the cuckoo nut in autumn gives you straight lumber. The chickpea. Did that not give me anything? And this looks... Yep. Oh, do replenished. Let's look. So this gives you lumber. This is... It looks like it should have given me the porcelain shell. Am I out of room? And then this is the same um, morning glory. The tiny morning glory, it looks like. So, I'm going to head back to spring, dump off my inventory, and then we are going to go down to Summer Bar. There are no planting spots in the Winter Glade, so we don't have to worry about that. The summer one is the one that's more interesting for me. Come on. Here we go. Because that's where the bioluminescent pod comes from. Drop these off. We'll hit a warp point and we'll head to... Um... Why can't I think of the name of it? The one with, where the frogs live. Pot. Here it is. Okay, so I've planted a couple here. There is the moss one that we have. So moss plus summer bar, we don't know yet, and that is the chickpea seed too. So let's this looks like it's gonna be stone, and it is. Chickpea just gave me coin. That's strange. Okay, so it seems like the shells. I've been only able to get in Spring Hamlet. And now we're going to cut across to... basically the other side of Summer Bar, and that'll have the, um, the bioluminescent pod. And that is the jelly bean. The jelly bean planted in Summer gives you the bioluminescent pod. Another thing I want to note, and if you're going to time skip, you'll miss this. But if you see how when I whack him and I see that little yellow banner with kind of what looks like the fishing rod on it, that is used for orbs. And I'll go over that in a minute. That's something else I want to cover in here. I've cracked a few of the orbs from around. Ooh, on my way. Thank you. Pardon me. Here we go. So here's one. Bioluminescent pod. I've planted a few more up here. Okay, so I'm going to plant more. So what you first do for planting, if you if you kind of ignored the tutorial or you're new to this and you haven't gotten there yet, 
is you want to wet your ground first with whatever do you have on you. Um, I'm not worried about money right now. I actually have the defense do in my bottle. I'm really not that worried about wasting it. So you want to use your spade, hold it, and then let go. And it'll dig you a hole. And then you come in here, press R, or whatever it is that opens your seed pouch. I only have two left. And then you plant. Okay, so I'm out of seeds. We can go this way. So I actually need bioluminescent pods, which is why I was driving myself crazy. It's for my, it's for one of the upgrades, for the tools, for weapons, and... Oh, nope, I need the trader. The trader's right here. And this is where the seed is, but now it's a seed pouch. Just go ahead and get it, and it refills your seeds. But yeah, I actually, I knew I had a bioluminescent pod, and I couldn't remember where I got it from. I combed back through my videos and like episode 8 in my let's play is when lily putt when I first got to lily putt it was planted there and that's when I I got it so the next thing I want to talk about is the orbs now you see these all over the place when you're starting the game and you really can't do anything with them you try to hit them nothing happens oh we're at nighttime this might be treacherous but there is one over here so this one is not as complex. This one's a straight, um, hit it with a weapon that's of a certain level. Now there are some, I think it's the yellow orbs, but I can't be sure. But it requires a specific tool. And if you hit it, remember when I showed you the, um, the shelled, uh, the shelled glob, and it had that shield? Well, a shield will pop up. See, and I got a plus one mind here. The shield will pop up and it'll tell you which kind of weapon. It's sometimes hard to make out. I know the red one is the hammer. Um, I believe the orange one, or the green one's the sickle. And they're, they're all different like that. And you can get stamina. If you see my health up here, you can get health boosts. My stamina bar is up to 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, which is pretty cool. And so they're super useful. And the last thing I wanted to show you in this walkthrough is the photo album. So photo album works like the talent tree in this game. Now, when I would come in here and I would see a free slot. Oh, good. I unlocked a free slot so I could really show you how this works. This is your, your talent tree. This is how you build out. Um, what works for you. And for me, I use the pick all the time. And when I would come in here, I would click on it, and I really wouldn't know what any of this was, but if you look at it carefully, so anything dealing with cane is buffs for your hammer. Uh, Plum, ha he has like plus and minuses to things. It's not anything super crazy. Hop, as you can see, the fishing rod or the dousing rod. I'm not going to talk about that one. That's too far in the game. The sickle, um, cayenne, let's see, cayennes were more plus and minuses. The metallic dew restores, restores Concord stamina. Blue does the parasol, and I like this one. I like Concord because I do a lot with the pick. That's my favorite weapon. So in here I have the first pick swipes twice when fully charged. So if you hold down your hit button for a second and let it go, it'll do like a, um, just like a, a blast. Let's see, do I have this? I'm not sure if I have this one selected. The fight in me, resistance, hand speed, luck. 
Um, I definitely don't have that one equipped. I'm not worried about a speed buff. I do have this one equipped. And here, fully charged pick swipes create a wind slash, which is cool. And um, I don't think I have this one selected, but you can actually come in here and pick different categories. Now, there's a new one for Kane. What did I pick up? This one here. Green thumb, all crops. Okay, so log eight different crops. And I did that. I finished my crop log. All crops drop extra money. That's cool. Not something I really, really need. Heal a little while moving through dungeons. I like it. And that's how the photo slash talent tree system works. And for some dungeons, they do require specific weapons. Like when you're in Summer Bar, you'll need you'll need the um the fishing rod, the dousing rod. And this will help you have certain buffs for that. And yeah. So you could change these out on the day-to-day. -day. If you're going into a dungeon, maybe you want to reset them to more health or whatever you want. But I, I kind of like the standard that I have here. So that is my little walkthrough to things. I wish I knew much sooner in the game that I kind of just figured out from farming uh, materials to upgrade my weapons. So if you have any questions, go ahead and hit them in the comments below. and Let me know if there are other items up to this point in the game. Um... I'm sure there may be more as I get further along, but like I said in the beginning, I am first round complete of all the of all the seasons up to uh, finding Mandy in the mists, and that's where I've stopped. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.